This place seems to be full of traps, and this game has taught me to be wary of my surroundings. What's this? A dark, narrow passageway with no room to roll away? I'd better proceed carefully. Where's the trap? Aha! A pressure plate! But where... what would it trigger? Ah, there! Arrows, of course. Hmm... Yes! It's a good thing I was paying attention. Every trap in this game can be avoided. Whoa! YOLO! Oh, what the fuck? Artificial difficulty, trial and error gameplay, unavoidable death, the game is too hard! You'll notice I used the phrase artificial difficulty at the end there, and some of you might be wondering what that is. Artificial difficulty is a term that became very popular around the time Dark Souls was released for PC. It refers to a state of difficulty where failure is unavoidable for one reason or another. For example, maybe you were about to die an unavoidable death because it was literally impossible to tell what was about to kill you, perhaps the camera glitched out and you can blame the game code for your death, or maybe a boss has no apparent weakness and requires trial and error to take down. It's rare that a game has artificial difficulty in a pure form, because most circumstances that lead to failure are completely avoidable. Games like Dark Souls are unique in that they require to the player to be in a constant state of skill and awareness to stop them being punished. Make one mistake because you missed an environmental clue or opportunity and you may find that you died or that you had your character disadvantaged in some way. And in my opinion, this is the best kind of difficulty. It's the kind where you are rewarded for paying attention or exploring, and Dark Souls does this exceptionally well. For example, there's bloodstains on this platform leading up to the spikes on the roof. There's corpses, bloodstains, and charred stone on this bridge that gets burned by a dragon. There's a key that unlocks a shortcut further past this boss room. And there's a ladder here which allows you to do a plunging attack which you should have learnt in the tutorial. This is a game where you learn which way to go because an area is too hard, rather than have a huge compass on your screen at all times like most modern games. In the Edge article about Dark Souls 2, Shibuya talks of enhancing these clues and rewards, and that's one of the things I'm most excited for. Artificial Difficulty states that you shouldn't have to learn through trial and error. I personally like trial and error gameplay. Learning from your mistakes is what makes the better player. However, I understand why many people complain about trial and error gameplay. Some fights, like the Bed of Chaos or Capra Demon, almost require you to fail before you can try again. With the Capra Demon, you are thrust into an intense fight where it's almost impossible to take in your surroundings before you can make a plan. It would have been better, in my opinion, if you could observe the room beforehand. With the Bed of Chaos, we have a boss fight that was poorly thought out because you are likely to die no matter how many times you've done the fight. Additionally, when you open a Mimic Chest, you are going to die the first time you do so, with no warning. Unless you read the art book, of course. These are examples of difficulty that could have been done better, since skill plays less of a part in these than trial and error does. So let me know what you think. For the most part, I think Dark Souls does difficulty really well, and I don't want to see the style change in the next Souls game we receive. Dark Souls is set apart from most modern games not because it is incredibly difficult, but because it handles difficulty really damn well.